Hey guys, William Padilla Brown coming at you. I was down here talking with my friend Seppi and his son Ben, and we were looking at some of the insects that I've been farming, and I was looking at the uh, superworms here, the Zuphobus morio. They all ran away and they're hiding now in here, but um, a lot of people pay money and uh, and keep their superworms and mealworms in uh, like grain-based substrates or like oat bran and stuff like that. Uh, but I've just been keeping them in wood chips and old spent mushroom substrate blocks, which is just this wood substrate. It doesn't even have to be wet. Um, as you can see, they've made homes in this uh, completely dry mushroom substrate. This is a Namako mushroom. So one of the things that I've learned as I've been working with these insects is that uh, when they're farmed with different mushroom substrates, uh, depending on species of mushrooms, you can uh, adjust and modulate the flavors, which is becoming very interesting as uh, insects are going mainstream for their gourmet purposes. So um, again, just save money. Uh, I wouldn't be feeding insects things that uh, humans could eat. I'd just rather feed that to humans. Uh, I wouldn't be able to eat this sawdust, but the insects can eat it, then you can eat the insects. And uh, so, or you can feed the insects to your livestock and things like that if you're not into that. So um, insect farming, multiple purposes. Um, great for uh, sustainable small businesses or just uh, implementing for value-added product in your systems and feeding your animals and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, these are the Zuphobus morio uh, uh, superworms. And then I was also showing the mealworms here that had eaten through the styrofoam. Uh, they have the two bacteria in their gut that are capable of breaking down polystyrene into compostable material. So there's holes in the bottom of this uh, tub and the frass or uh, composted material uh, fall, falls down. It's this dust that you'll see uh, fall off here. Uh, it's been falling on top of these other, other uh, uh, wood chips here. And so whenever the, whenever the uh, larvae turn into beetles, mature, and they lay their little eggs, and the little mealworms come out, they will also fall through the holes, so the next generation of mealworms will come down here. Uh, so they're not all just eating plastic for generations and generations. Um, and I like to mix them in, uh, in between the different bins and stuff. So um, yeah, again, this is William Padilla Brown, a little bit on the uh, beetle larvae insect farming uh, totes. Um, I'll get back at you with more information at some point. And I'll be working on the uh, insect handbook. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call that one yet. It's uh, on the back burner and the next one up is the phycopermaculture handbook. So stay tuned.